All right, folks, today we're making kind of a fun soap. This is a soap that I decided to make simply because I can, and I think it's kind of funny. In this bowl, we have some scented soap shavings that I made ahead of time. The dark brown chips are scented in vanilla and the light brown are scented in cinnamon stick. We are going to make a vanilla cinnamon chip loaf of bread, but it's soap. We're using Crafter's Choice Baked Bread Fragrance Oil. I like to mark my bottles with important information like the percentage of vanillin, the discoloration, if it has phthalates, and how much I can use in my soap batter. But let's get back to the soap batter itself. We're going to blend all this up. I just want a medium to light trace. I'm not doing anything fancy. This is going to be a dump, stir, and dump soap, like nothing super fancy. I'm not using any micas. I'm letting all of the colorings come just from the fragrance discoloration. So I sized my batter to specifically hold exactly the amount of baked bread fragrance oil that I had. So we're just going to dump that in. I like to hand stir my fragrance before hitting it with the blender just to make sure it's fully incorporated into the soap. Then I hit it with the blender just to ensure that that fragrance really bonds to the soap batter. And so I don't have any uneven discoloration in my bar. Time to add the soap chips. Now another tip is I've learned not to dump all the shavings in at once. When I've done that in the past, I've incorporated way too many air bubbles. So if you just add a little bit at a time, it's much easier for the batter to kind of coat those pieces without adding air to the batter. Um, you also wanna make sure that you occasionally scrape all the way down to the bottom of your batter so that you don't have bits of soap that don't have chips in them or chunks of shred that haven't been bonded by the soap batter. Once fully incorporated, we pull out our small little silicone loaf mold and start to fill it up. Now with shred soap, again, you don't wanna fill it all the way up before banging it on the ground. You really wanna make sure there's no air bubbles in there. So about halfway through the filling, I stop and pound it and then continue to fill it up. My goal with this is just to mound it enough that it will look kind of like a loaf of bread and have the shape of that when I slice it. So I'm trying to be careful and keep the sides nice and clean. I want to create a mound on top, but I wanna make sure that it's not just mounded in the middle. You really want the mound to go from end to end. Otherwise your end pieces are gonna be way smaller than your middle pieces. And with this soap mold, I already have the problem of it bowing in the middle. So the middle slices are already going to be a little bigger than the end cuts. So I just wanna make sure that the top is as even as I can possibly get it. Once I'm happy with how I've shaped the top, I'm going to set my soap aside for a day or two, let it set up and firm before we unmold it and take it to the cutter. And we're back with the soap cutter. We're gonna go through slowly because of the bits that are on the inside. And now it's time to see what it looks like. Oh yeah. And it smells just like fresh baked cinnamon chip bread. And if you've never had fresh baked cinnamon chip bread, you are missing out. I highly encourage you to find a recipe, make it and eat it. But as for this soap, we're gonna use this in a different way. Thanks for watching me make what we're calling cozy home soap. Thank you.